Hi there, welcome back. Let us look at this example here. I'm told that the normal force exerted on a prime is 100 newtons. The prime's brakes are locked, so the wheels cannot turn. The owner tries to push the prime, but it does not move. The owner pushes it harder until the prime suddenly starts to move when a force is applied, three quarters of the normal force. After the owner is able to keep it moving with the force that is half of the force which it started moving, what is the magnitude of the applied force at which it starts moving and what are the coefficients of the static and kinetic friction? Let's analyze it step by step. So the normal force exerted is 100 newtons. Let's write that down. And we are told the prime's brakes are locked so the wheels cannot turn. The owner tries to push it harder and all of a sudden it still does not move. You can see that we are applying force to it and we put in friction but it does not move so I am sensing static friction, friction due to no motion. The owner pushes it harder until it suddenly starts to move. So now we have kinetic friction. When the force is applied, three quarters of the normal force. So we can say the static friction can be represented using 3 over 4. After the owner is able to keep it moving with a force that is half of the force which it starts to move, what is the magnitude of the applied force? And we should also get the coefficients. Okay, so the magnitude of the force required to keep it moving, it is half the magnitude of the force which it starts. So we can express this using... Okay. Now let's start to calculate. The first thing to calculate will be the static friction, maximum, its coefficient, the Newton's law. We have three over four and a hundred. If you punch this to your calculator, you should get 75 Newton. The next thing to calculate will be the kinetic friction. And we say it can be represented using this expression. If you substitute, we just calculated the static friction to be 75 newtons, hence this should give you 37.5 newton. Now we have our static and our kinetic frictions. Let us now calculate the coefficients. We know that kinetic friction can be represented using, and therefore if we make the coefficient subject of the formula, we have kinetic friction. We just calculated the kinetic friction to be 37.5 newton over the normal force it's 100 newtons. If you punch this to your calculator you should get 0 0.375. Similarly the static kinetic friction can be represented using the coefficient and the normal force. If you rearrange this to make the static friction subject of the formula we should get static friction force over the normal force and we calculated this to be 75 newtons hence over 100 newtons this should give you 0 0.75 and it's unitless i hope that makes sense thanks for watching